Welcome, I'm Anna Galletly, and we are now going to start the video lecture series on the integumentary system. This slideshow is going to focus on just introducing the topic and on the epidermis. All right, so functions of the integument. Well, here you go. There are your functions, okay? So you want to know those. Again, I always want more explanation than just protection, so don't just put down protection. It's lame. If you're going to put down protection, you have to actually explain how it protects. Protects against what? How? All right. Uh, what are the parts of the integument? Um, well, um, let's see. You've got the basic skin itself, which is going to be your epidermis and dermis, but then you've also got accessory organs that are embedded within it. All right, and we're going to go through and look at those. All right, so another word for skin is integument. All right, and when you put the skin with all the accessory organs, we call it the integumentary system. Now, the integument consists of two large layers, all right, and that is your dermis and epidermis. Now, we often discuss the hypodermis because it is just deep to the skin. This is typically some kind of connective tissue, often adipose or a reeler, but it could be some other stuff in there. It's not part of the integument, but it's right next to it. This is also sometimes called the subcutaneous region. This is where you get um, subcutaneous injections or hypodermic injections. So a hypodermic needle, all right, so this is where it's going to. All right. Um, yeah, let's go on to the next slide. All right, so we're going to look at the sections right now. So first of all, we have the epidermis, which is going to consist of stratified squamous epithelium. And then you've got the dermis, which is going to have two layers. One is going to be a realer. The other one is going to be dense irregular We'll talk more about that later. And then technically not part of the skin, but just deep to it is the hypodermis or subcutaneous region. All right, next slide. All right, thick skin versus thin skin. So basically most of the body is covered with what we call thin skin, which basically means it's thinner. What's the thin part is the epidermis, all right? So basically we have four strata of cells, four layers of cells in the thin skin. Whereas the thick skin has five layers, the fifth layer is called the stratum lucidum, okay? Some features of the thick skin, no hair. You're only gonna find it on the palms of your hands and the soles of your feet. And you also have what are called epidermal ridges embedded in the epidermis here, and that's what creates your fingerprints. Next slide. All right, this slide has definitions and information from the next slide on it. I'm not gonna read this to you, but the information is here for you. Next slide. All right, so we are gonna focus on the epidermis and the types of cells you got in the epidermis. So the primary cell is the keratinocyte. So keratin is referring to a protein in the cell, and then the word site means cell, okay? Now notice that I've got four arrows going. So I've got this one here, I have that one, that one, and that one, all right? All of these cells here are keratinocytes. They are all the primary cell of the epidermis. They start down here in a cuboidal or columnar shape. They go through mitosis and they gradually get pushed up to the surface where they will be sloughed off, okay? Now, I've got another type of cell here called a Langerhans cell or a dendritic cell. So that's this thing right here. This is a type of immune system cell and it basically crawls along in between all of the cells and it'll migrate looking for pathogens which it'll then engulf, okay? And then I have your melanocyte. Melanocytes are only found in the stratum basale right here. You'll notice it also has little feelers where it's squished itself in between the keratinocytes. It secretes melanin granules 
And these melanin granules will then line up and create a shield over top the nucleus of your keratinocytes, okay? Now this is important um, because this shield protects it, protects those keratinocytes, their DNA from UV radiation. So this is basically your natural sunscreen, okay? About 10, whoops, 10 to 25% of the stratum basale are gonna be melanocytes. It's not a lot of cells, okay? Everybody has about the same amount of melanocytes. What is really gonna be different is how much melanin is secreted and what type of melanin is secreted. All right, one more thing, the Merkel cell. This is a light touch receptor. It is only found up right here against the, um, the basement membrane, so it's only in the stratum basale. And you can see right here, there's the nerve that attaches to it, the neuron. And this will detect things like a light caress, all right? Not deep pressure, just really light touch. Um, all right, let's go on and look at the next slide. All right, I have to apologize. My arrow, for some reason, turned into a giant rectangle with a clown hat on the top, for some reason. It's supposed to be an arrow. Anyway, um, Moving on, what I want to focus on are the different strata. So the different strata are named based on their shape, location, and what they do. Let me change colors. So basali sounds like basement. So the word stratum just means layer. So layer, basement. So this is going to be your deepest layer. And these are gonna be columnar to cuboidal in shape. Okay, you can see this one is actually going through mitosis right there. And they're basically constantly dividing in order to create new cells. And as they create new cells, they push up so that this cell will eventually move here, and this cell moves here, and then this cell moves here. And eventually, they that cell number one right here that I'm putting a star on will eventually make it here, and it'll be sloughed off when you scratch that spot the next time. Okay, so these cells push up towards there, okay? The next layer is called the stratum spinosum, the spiny layer. Now I want you to look right here. Those are called desmosomes, but they create these little spines. They look like little cactus spines. They're actually kind of like um, ties that tie the two cells together. You should look up desmosome if you don't remember what that is. Um, and these desmosomes really help with resisting tension okay now the next layer is going to be the stratum granulosum so granulosum sounds like a grain all right notice all of these purple dots in here all right those are keratin granules so when you get up to the stratum granulosum all of a sudden the cells are getting ready to die and they're like we really need to toughen up so they secrete a lot of keratin they also start releasing glycolipids, which help with waterproofing. The cells are gonna really start to flatten now. They're going to recycle their organelles so that you know you don't lose them. Um, you just recycle them or, re or recycle the proteins and the acids that are in them, the fatty acids. And then the plasma membrane is also going to thicken up. All right, and that is because it's getting ready to go into the really working, the functional layer. Now up here is the functional layer, okay? This clear area that doesn't absorb stain really well, this is called the stratum lucidum. You only have this in thick skin. You don't have this in thin skin, okay? So you have basale, spinosum, granulosum, and corneum everywhere. And then in thick skin, you will have lucidum, okay? Um, and then you've got the stratum corneum. So corneum refers to cornified. So like if you think of a, a horn, another word for horn in Latin is corn, okay? So these are really flattened, heavily keratinized cells. This is where you're really resisting the abrasion and penetration. And all of these cells are dead. So if you lose them, no big deal, all right? Um, and those are the layers of your epidermis. Let's move to the next slide. All right, so here we are looking at skin. 
All right, up here, you just have to believe me, but there's a little bit of a free edge, so we know that this is epithelium. Down here, I have my connective tissue proper. This is my, where is it, right here, basement membrane, okay? So that's connective tissue proper. Um, down here, these are gonna be my cuboidal cells of my stratum basale, okay? And then in here, you can't see the spines. You just have to believe me when I say they're there. This is the stratum spinosum, okay? Gradually, these cells are gonna start to get a little bit more like this rather than like that. So they're gonna start to flatten out a little bit more up in here. All right, now we get up into this layer and you can see the cells are definitely getting flatter, but they're also picking up more stain. Keratin absorbs stain. So this, these granules are gonna make that layer look darker. So it's absorbing the stain. Now up here in the stratum you see them, you see the cells are flatter, but they are lighter. So if it's got more keratin, why? Well, remember in the stratum granulosum, you're also starting to secrete lipids and the membrane is technically dead. So basically this layer of the lucidum doesn't absorb the stain as well just because it's more water or liquid proof all right it's tough the plasma membrane has really gotten thicker it just doesn't absorb the stain as well but then we get up to this layer this is the stratum corneum and again the cells are flat all right this layer this plasma membranes are starting to break down kind of crack a little bit and it absorbs the stain more so it goes to a darker color okay so those are the slides that go with epidermis. Um, that's the end of this video lecture. The next video lecture will focus on the dermis and its structures.